Well, as I told you a little while ago about uh, my Uncle Edsel and, and Uncle J.T. and, and, uh, and all my uncles, you know, well, these are my mama's brother. Well, now, now, she has one more brother, and his name's Bob. Now, I'm going to tell you something about him. Now, I remember a long time ago when refrigerated air conditioning first came out in the cars. I think it was about 1950 or 52, somewhere along there, you know. And, 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 and now, th th this, this happened down in East Texas, you know. Uncle Bob, about 14, 15 years old, had just taken a trailer of cotton down to the gin for Papu, his daddy. Now, this was a hot September day, and Bob was hitchhiking back to the farm from the gin where he delivered the trailer of cotton. Well, cars were just passing him right and left, and he was hot and sweaty and thirsty, and sure was a wanting to ride real bad. When, when down the road came the longest and the newest and the blackest Cadillac Bob had done ever seen. And sure enough, it began to look like the guy was going to pull over for him. Well, Bob being hot and sweaty and dirty and all, he thought to himself, I'll bet this guy won't give me no ride in that big car, you know. And after all, he sees how dirty I am. But the fellow pulled over the shoulder and rolled down his electric window on the passenger side and hollered out to old Bob, Boy, do you need a ride? And, the bo and Bob said, yes, sir, I sure do, and I sure would appreciate it. Well, the man in the, in the big car uh, said, well, just hop in, and as it turns out, the, the old boy driving the car was a traveling salesman out of Dallas. And, and just trying to make conversation, the salesman says, uh, what do your folks do, son? And Bob said, well, uh, we're, we're just cotton farmers, and, and we raise a little grain and, and a few hogs, you know. Uh, we're, we're just farm folks and all. And by this time, they had gone about 10 miles, and, and, and Bob was beginning to shake and shiver just a little bit <laughs> from the air conditioner that was in the car. Now, you know the salesman was dressed up uh, in, in a blue serge suit and, and a coat and tie and everything, and he had the refrigerated air conditioner set at 65 degrees. <laughs> well, as they rode on down, down the highway toward the farm, the salesman said, uh, young man, what kind of chores is your family doing on the farm today? And by this time, Uncle Bob, just a boy, you know, ha had both hands between his legs j just to keep warm. <laughs> and, and Bob thought just a minute and, and looked outside. You know, it was about 104 degrees outside, just as clear as a bell, not a cloud in the sky. And then he looked at the salesman and, and, and looked at the vent, which was on the dash, uh, the, the, which the cold air was coming from, you know, and said, well, when I left the house this morning, we was a picking cotton. But since this norther has blowed in, I guess we'll just kill hogs. <laughs> now, I travel all over the country telling folks uh, all kinds of stories. I talk to all kinds of people in all walks of life. But the greatest story I could ever tell is that about my Savior, Jesus the Christ. We are going to sing the greatest story of all now. Folks, would you welcome the Jordans?
Sing.